Hickory Stork, which is the poem for which I received the Chad Walsh Award. Um, it's a pretty amazing thing to be standing in your kitchen trying to recover from an exhausting day at work, heating up the leftovers and the phone rings, and it's me on the other end of the phone telling you you're receiving a great honor and a bunch of money. <laughs> That's a moment everyone should experience at least once. Um, this is a dreamlike poem, though not a dream. Um, my husband died in a mountaineering accident some years back, and uh, this poem grew out of the first writing that I was able to do after that, some months after it. And I was trying to write in and out of that place of grief and shock that I was still in. Uh, but also, in a way, to write against it. The thing that pissed me off the most, and past all the obvious things, was the way grief forces you into this horrible narcissism and self-obsession uh, that you really can't get out of. There's no way out of it. And it pissed me off. It just went against everything I wanted to be in every way I wanted to write. So when I began to write, I was determined to uh, try to paradoxically write from within that space and to resist it. Uh, so this is the poem, one of the poems that came from that. It's called Stork. May I live long enough to face my ruin. I copied the words, except it looked like rain. 38 dead on the riverboats, 300 elk on a snowy curve, everything in abundance. Your nights on the river a radio, if I wake in the night a radio, a hill beyond the glass, a glass of water. On the altar, medals for bravery, unjust word. Raven feathers, bone of a sea turtle, litter of fox pups playing on a paved road. It was 2 a.m. they were chasing moths. I don't remember why we were on that road. We were on that road. Awakened by artillery or its silence. Artillery or its silences. A taste of garlic, metal taste of rain. On the Golan, I lived in a shack on a hill. Or say, I slept on a cot in a locked compound eight miles from the tracer fire. <coughs> on the river you slept between gun mounts in the pools of shit and fear. On the river you called for blank, for blank, for peace, and it never came. There were helicopters battering the air. There were jets taking off and landing. Outside just now, a great horned owl is measuring the silences between them. It's a drought year, sound is malleable. It's a drought year, wind has the patience of its kind. It smells of fire, and the book says now there is no higher desert. On sleepless nights, I climb it. On sleepless nights, life simplifies to a round of terrible questions. Will I lie on my left side, or will I lie on my right? The helicopter lifting you, but not you, your body. Your body lifting toward me in a telescoping panic. At dawn, we rode out cowboy style to find the Golan's wild, indifferent cows. They had swept for mines, but mines say, you must ride in line like an ant. I can count the cows, or a line of ants that crawl up the coroner's arms his headlights in the driveway, your walking stick beside my bed, your face illuminated by tracer fire. Jets pass overhead at the moment, they say, no jets pass overhead. This is my primary education. This is how I must learn to describe peace. A white stork down by the fish ponds, and a blonde man in a bathing suit with an Uzi propped on his hip bone. After an hour, it wasn't that. Fox in the road, it wasn't that. A bat flutters open stars. Small jet follows its own sound. Fear of its riding lights cut straight through the side of the hill. You stood in the yard with a black pony. 
I waited for you with an armored book. We shelled our books on the face of the mountain. Our books were stones, and we built two cairns, one at the summit, one at the lake. On the path between them, the road to Baghdad crosses the Kairan Bridge, crosses your body, which body? Training jets pass over our house, so low the windows buzz. That armor piercing said, word said. If a child's arm flew toward you through a window, if you came back crazy, came back taller, came back wearing a white scar, I wrote down the middle of your face. If you bent to tell me, bent to lift a drowned sailor out of the back. That moment of waking, don't look down. Knife ridge, ice ledge, don't look down. Rain wet sailor, nothing now, vicarious, it ends here. Sand colored armor, sand slick rock. Fox barks fear in the night. A wren wakes up and chatters. Hmm.